hello there. Okay, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to my new channel. This is my first video on this channel. This channel is Angel Ruby Creative Arts. Um, I have a main channel. It's still only tiny, so, you know, I'm a little nobody in the fish pond of YouTube. Um, and my other channel is Kubelicious Crafts. Over there I do resin, Sophie and Toffee boxes, um, many, many crafts, anything that takes my fancy really. This channel is supposed to be a little bit more laid back, more arts, um, colouring, drawing, diamond painting, some, on a bit of a, um, a calmer, more relaxing, quiet sort of side of my arts. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow me on both channels, I would absolutely love you to join me. I'd love you to subscribe and uh, help my little channels to grow. Uh, but today I'm going to be doing some mindful colouring, some relaxing colouring. This is where I'm going to, I say, come for the relaxing part of life. So I have here um, a book by Molly Harrison and this is a grayscale book and I love the grayscale books. Um, basically it gives me a little bit more of a relaxing colour because it puts the shadows in for you, it puts the highlights there and it's just a little bit more of um, I sort of do these kind of books when I just I really do want some mindful colour and some relaxation, some haven't really got to think of where my shadows are gonna go, where my highlights are gonna go, what sort of you know, what um composition needs to go where. So this is the kind of book I come to for that. And I do like this one. Um so this is the Whimsical Wonders um book and I love mermaids and I love fairies and anything like that. So this book was perfect really. Um, I've done a couple of pages but let's just walk through. So I've only done a couple of these pictures in this book so far. But as you can see, mermaids. Now the pages, they're not super thick, they're not as thick as some, but they're not, they're not really thin. Um, and they have got, there's not much tooth to the paper, it's quite super smooth. I have had colouring books that have been, that have had a better tooth. But you can get a couple of layers on here. Um, it, it, obviously it's not going to be like your artist paper, that, that's, that's understandable. But you can get a couple of layers on here and I'll show you on one of my drawings. And so we've got, they're very sweet. And so the grayscale is very handy. And the one thing, I love this one. This is my one of my favourites. I find these books, I've just started this one, um, very good because I'm, I love colouring um, fairies, but I'm not very good at drawing them. I like to draw animals, um, flowers, butterflies, but I am awful at drawing people. It is something that I'm going to concentrate on, it is something that I am going to practice, but I'm not very good at it. So this gives me the opportunity to learn how to colour skin tones and faces and figures without actually having to draw them myself. Some of these night ones you've got quite a lot. I find some of the really dark pages a little bit challenging and in this book I've noticed that some areas are quite patchy. I like my transitions um, through my gradients to be quite smooth so I find that a little bit frustrating because you can see quite harsh lines underneath some of them but it's something I'll get used to. This one is so dark that she's kind of faded out almost so that one's going to be a real challenge I'm not quite sure how I'm going to adapt to that one. Kitty. This is the one I'm currently doing and we'll finish this one in a minute. Mermaids. I love her style. I love the whimsical style. I love the way sort of the scrolls and the and the flow. I love the flow of her pieces. 
Halloween, which is quite apt now. We're coming up to Halloween, aren't we? So I may have a go at some of these Halloween ones, get myself in the mood. This one's lovely. The little bugs. This is quite simple, but the little bugs and the flowers are really sweet. That one's quite spooky. Again, that one's quite dark. Doesn't seem as patchy, so I think that's going to be a nicer one transitional wise for colours. This book really is very pleasant. I know some people don't like grayscale, some people love grayscale. Um, yeah, I can't, I, I say, I find it quite relaxing. I find it um, nice to do. If I want to um, put my own twist on things, I find the grayscale doesn't really work because I'm sort of more governed to what's on the page. So then I tend to go for one of, you know, my other books that isn't. Um, and when I really want my own, I'll just, I'll draw my own. Um, but this is supposed to be more relaxing and sort of to colour without the the stress. I like this one. Another Halloween one. Got plenty to do for Halloween, haven't we? Okay, and then this is the one I did that I've already finished. Now, this one, I wasn't super happy with how this came out. I used the black Faber-Castell, the black edition. And I love these. I love these um, pencils. They just didn't work for this. They didn't work for this paper. Um, as I've been colouring this, as I said, you can get three layers really. Two to three layers, but three layers if they're light layers. Um, but some, the Arteza work much better than these on this paper. So, um, yeah, I find with different colouring books, different pencils work better. And this one, definitely the Arteza, 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 whichever, um, worked better. I couldn't get the opacity on the bubbles. I then couldn't blend. If you see um, some of it's quite patchy, I couldn't get a good transition between the colours. Some came out brighter than others. I was using the same colours and yet you can see this one came out quite nice and bright and um, some of the others I mean here same colours but I just could not get the opacity of the lighter shades on this one so yeah um, I did it's, it was still a lovely picture to do but I won't use these again in this book and I think that's the last one then you've got see how you've got because I've coloured tried so hard on the picture in front it's left me with sort of almost like it was damp but obviously it wasn't but you know you get that feeling where paper's been damp that's kind of like the feeling I get but anyway you get a couple of sheets on the back that I would use for swatching colours to see or to test different pencils on paper and then that's it and you've got a little summary of all the ones on the back Thank you.